So, Stingray sold his soul to Terry Silver to be a Cobra Kai. He would have done anything to be in Cobra Kai, even selling out Kreese himself. This tells you a lot about Stingray's character, but maybe it's not over. Silver beat the pulp out of him and gave him an ultimatum. Frame John Kreese and tell him he beat you up or you'll never be a Cobra Kai, ever. Now, Kreese already shut the door on Stingray and humiliated him. So with no options other than Silver's, Stingray sold Kreese out for his own gain. Stingray is the key to all of this. He can change everything. Let me explain. Once Daniel or Johnny find out what happened to Kreese and how the Valley is now being controlled by Terry Silver and possibly Mike Barnes who comes back, they might learn of the truth of all of this. Once the police tell Kreese what he's been arrested for, I'm sure Kreese will know that Terry Silver was the one who beat up Stingray. And once he knows that, then maybe he'll tell Johnny or Daniel if they visit him. Now the issue is, how would Daniel or Johnny know that Kreese is out of the picture? They'll just see Cobra Kai dojos popping up all over the valley and assume Silver and Kreese are behind it. I think Tori might tell them that Silver bribed the ref. And once she learns that Kreese is behind doors, she'll know something weird is up. She could go to Amanda LaRusso and tell her about it, who then tells Daniel, causing Daniel to go visit Kreese in jail and get his side of what happened. Daniel would seek out Stingray and confront him, telling him to go to the police with the real story, that Kreese is Cobra Kai and Terry Silver is just pure evil using him. So, Stingray must come forwards. He needs to tell the police the truth, and in doing so, lose his spot as a Cobra Kai. But get rid of Silver in the process, tossing him in jail. Then Kreese might favor him and give him a place on the team as one of the guys. The only issue is getting Stingray to give up what he wants the most in the world, which is to be a Cobra Kai, which Silver will give to him to keep quiet. So the dilemma is, will Stingray save the day or keep quiet and stay a Cobra Kai under Terry Silver? I think Stingray is a good guy at heart. He's just lonely and never got attention in high school. I think he'll do the right thing in the end, but it won't really matter much. And that's because Silver has the best lawyers and all the money in the world. He'll just snake his way out of anything. Not to mention, he owns Cobra Kai, as we learned in Karate Kid 3. Silver bought the dojo for Kreese, but didn't teach. Kreese ran the dojo taught the classes, was the face, but Silver legally purchased it with his money. It's probably his name on the title. Now, I'm not sure if Silver transferred the title over to Kreese or not, but that's of course something the writers can change later depending on, you know, what they want from the story and how they want it to form. So, Silver might go to jail for a bit, allowing Kreese to tell his side of the story to his new students, but the damage will already be done. Silver can put all kinds of clauses in his contract as he opens new Cobra Kai dojos across the valley, stating that Kreese can't come near Cobra Kai dojos, or that in the event Silver goes to jail, Mike Barnes takes over. Silver is a smart guy in business and on the streets. I think he's always able to slither his way out of any scenario like a true Cobra, kind of like Palpatine does. He's very intelligent. So, will Stingray spill the beans? Will Tori go to Amanda? Will Daniel try to help Kreese and maybe the three of them team up, Johnny, Daniel, and Kreese, in the name of the enemy of my enemy is my friend? I guess we have to wait another year to find out in Cobra Kai Season 5. I was honestly really surprised that Stingray would sell out John Kreese, but it just kind of goes to show that he really just cares about Cobra Kai and he just wants to be a Cobra Kai. He doesn't care who the sensei is as long as he is in the club, but I think in the end, once he sees how different things are, that this maybe is just kind of really evil version of Cobra Kai, which is saying something. He might have second thoughts and he might rat out Terry Silver, which then could have its own repercussions. Terry Silver doesn't play around. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, this breakdown, and this theory. Let me know what you think about it. What are we going to get in season five? Have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Cobra Kai Theory. Until then, remember, pain does not exist in this dojo, does it?